Hello everybody, this is Itsu. As mentioned in the post, I came across this little uh, circuit. Negative resistance circuit. And uh, when you link through, uh, first of all you can show above on this uh, website that there are some uh, nice circuits you can build also with three and with loads and stuff but there is also another link at the bottom about some uh, some testing and one of the circuits I uh, came across or the pictures was this three state picture of uh, the oscillations and I've seen this before so my my interest was uh, was piqued and uh, I decided to build that little circuit and uh, this is uh, a very uh, rude crude way of uh, building it but uh, I have here a kind of uh, uh, shock, a two-way shock. I only uh, use one side, and I have uh, the one nanofarad cap. I have the transistor 2N222, and I have instead of a 1K, I have a 470K resistor, and I just uh, feed it with my uh, variable power supply to see what's going to happen and if I can get into this small range at where this negative resistance occurs. It's only a very small range where it uh, does. Uh, I have hooked up my uh, current probe so I can measure the current going in and out. And I have hooked up a uh, the yellow probe across the uh, the shock, so I can measure the uh, the uh, the amplitude of the resonance, and I have uh, my multimeter hooked up to see what exact voltage uh, something would occur, and I use this power supply so I can crank it up. At the moment, it's uh, eight volt, eight point two volts, and this is also reflected here, eight point twenty six volts. And this is the signal on my scope. We can see that uh, channel 1, uh, which is the yellow trace, is uh, resonating the LC at 55 kilohertz. If you calculate it via calculator, you can see that uh, the 7 millihenry and the 1 nanofarad in series will uh, be around uh, 60 or 55, 60 kilohertz. Mine is 55 something. So it's a nice oscillating uh, signal and uh, we have a kind of amplitude uh, about uh, 3 volts RMS at the moment, 5 volt max, but that's not important. What I now want to do is to use my uh, power supply to crank it up to see if I can find this special range at where this the yellow trace the amplitude will increase and the green trace the current will decrease and this will be the negative resistance uh, region of this transistor of this uh, circuit. So I'm now increasing the amplitude and you can see that now at this point the green trace is starting to get lower. So we have less, less current and we have now maximum amplitude. So this is the small range. I'm going back now. Now I'm going to increase again the voltage. And now the current is starting to decrease. If I continue also the amplitude decrease but also the current. So this is the small region which I understand has this negative. So I'm now back to uh, 8 volt. Now starting 
increasing its uh, 8.5 volt and now the green trace is starting to decrease starting at this region which is about 8.7 volt on my meter and until here so it's a very na narrow range still about 9 volt eight point seven till nine volts so it's a very small region which uh, shows this negative resistance behavior this is the start point eight point six and uh, probably we can increase uh, this phenomenon by um, putting more of these transistors in parallel but uh, the next step I want to try is to uh, pulse feed this 8.7 volt or 9 volt with a function generator to see if I can uh, induce some, some ringing which show this, this effect. I think the only thing way we can do that is by putting uh, using a function generator and instead of uh, using a DC voltage using the function generator to pulse at the correct voltage to see if we see some ringing there so that will be uh, the next step thank you for watching hello everybody this is uh, Itsu again Okay, this is the same little uh, Negister circuit. 7 milli uh, Henry choke, one side connected. Capacitor, transistor and uh, resistor. I still have the current probe connected. But now instead of using the uh, voltage of plugs of my power supply, I have hooked up my uh, function generator plugs. So instead of a DC voltage we are now pulsing this uh, circuit. And I have set up uh, this channel 1 of my function generator in uh, pulse mode. It's a positive pulse and uh, it's about uh, 2 kilohertz square wave 50% cycle and I put it at uh, 7.6 volt and uh, this is uh, just below the, uh, the special region in the uh, transistor before it starts to become a negative resistor and uh, this is uh, the scope shot the yellow trace is still across the, uh, the choke the inductor and the blue trace is now the signal from the uh, signal generator so we see a 50 percent on off with uh, at the moment uh, 8 volt peak to peak and uh, we see during the on and the off turn of uh, the, the square wave we see a ring in the uh, LC com combination and it uh, resonates uh, at about the same 55 kilohertz resonance frequency of this LC what I now want to do is uh, to increase the uh, amplitude of the pulse so that it brings into the region of the uh, negative resistance of the uh, 2N2222 to see what's going to happen. So I have uh, my function generator here and I can turn the dial and I will now show uh, the screenshot what happens. I will now increase the voltage. You can follow it the blue voltage.
and you can see that the ringing is now increasing and it's now almost equal and now it when I continue it tapers off like a very small trumpet waveform until I continue and then it uh, backs off again still continuing you can see the voltage still rise 10 volt now when I go back into this region again I guess it's about maximum here 9.3 volt which is uh, smack in the middle of this uh, negative region we saw before we have the maximum so this kind of shows that we can have the three states I'll turn it off again turn it down now it goes back to the normal <coughs> ringing when off and on so this is the dampened and now I go back on to show you if I can see if there is a really a tapering on a trumpet sort of waveform which is here when I connect uh, do the marker you can see it's a little bit uh, not much but uh, it's there So this is uh, what this uh, negative uh, resistor is doing with oscillations and yeah, the question is uh, what to do with it, if we can use it some other way. Okay, thank you for watching.